So, the pandemic is over. After two long years, the desecration of our civil liberties, the destruction of our nation's mental health, the damage caused to an entire generation of children, the demise of thousands of businesses. It's over. We're out of the coffee sneezy woods, aren't we? And we're one of the first countries in the world to do it. Now, in any normal country, we'd be celebrating right now. We'd be organising street parties, firework displays. But alas, vast swathes of our media still care more about cheese and wine. Boris is being accused of cheap political point scoring, of trying to deflect from his own personal crisis. The return to normality is seen as nothing more than a distraction tactic by a troubled prime minister. How pathetic is that? I honestly think a lot of people in the media want us to still be in the thick of this pandemic. They've become addicted to crisis. They've become addicted to bad news. So addicted to it that they hate to report the good news. No more restrictions, no more isolation, no more phone pinging, no more fear. We are now going to live with COVID, not cower away from it. And about time too. It's especially good news as well for Keir Starmer. It seemed like every single week the leader of the opposition was trapped in his own front room after being pinged. But he says Boris is making the wrong decision. He says that the decision to remove self-isolation rules and free testing hits the most vulnerable and the poorest the hardest. But it was actually the draconian COVID rules that hit the vulnerable and the poorest the hardest. The elderly were locked away with only Chris Whitty's daily COVID doom-mongering briefings for company. Care home residents with dementia had to squint at their loved ones through a window. Young children were ripped away from their friends, forced to wear masks and had their lives and education disrupted at a vital stage of their early years development. Many people on low income simply lost their jobs as businesses were forced to close. People already living on the breadline were plunged into abject poverty. Well, now all of this can stop. Now we can get back to normal. We can resume living, not merely existing. If you want to see the perfect example of media bias in this country, just look at the way this great news is being reported. The easing of restrictions is only possible because of Brexit and good leadership. Our national sovereignty meant that we could operate a world-leading vaccine procurement and rollout scheme. We also have high levels of natural immunity. Many people were given life-saving government grants. And yet, there's no fanfare. If news broke tomorrow that Boris attended another cheese and wine party, then the press would still be calling for him to go again. It's pathetic. We need to let ourselves be happy. We got COVID done before pretty much any other country. Why? Well, because we're Great Britain and we're the best nation in the world.